hours to come. Hi, everybody. How are you all today? We're going to try to do my makeup. So here we go. Um, Let me know what you're hearing at Lookner on Twitter. I'm listening to Steve Lookner on my YouTube channel um, while I do my makeup. And welcome to my first stream. But right now we have no reporting on why this person did this, any connections we'll between this person um, who reportedly was dance. studying uh, in the, as a graduate student in the criminology department of criminal justice in criminology. And I, uh, starting with a clean Brian Coburg, right there. Face. I already PhD student. Today. Let me go ahead and close that out. Skin is 60 years old, so uh, it needs all the help I can get, frankly. But we're going to practice putting makeup on so we can be camera ready for live streams. I'd like to start a show and get some followers, and we'll talk about different topics. True crime is one of my favorite topics these days, and it started with the obsession with the Brian Kohlberger case, or the Idaho Four. Those kids just really stole my heart. They're just gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, taken out in the prime of life. And they live such beautiful lives. And there's so many great pictures of those kids. Like when I was their age, we didn't have cell phones with cameras everywhere we went. So the times I did look good, yes, I probably had lots of pictures taken, but I don't have any of them. That's a problem. But with these kids from Idaho, they were gorgeous and in the prime of their life. And well, that's the whole reason they were targeted to do the most damage to a life. Um, of course, that's the best time to be alive is in your 20s. I mean, I love being alive still, but... Um, you know, they were in their prime, and he snuffed them out because he's an incel, and he also, I believe, had a fascination with killing. He wanted to kill. He knew he was going to kill when he went away to Washington State. And, um, you know, the next town over, logical. How did he find them? Well, I think there's a chance he may have um, come across their address on Facebook uh, sales for furniture and such. And um, my guess is he knew that was a sorority house and he wanted to target a sorority like his uh, predecessor, Roger Elliott. Elliot Roger, I should say. Um, because Brian would have known about all the other serial killers before him and what they wanted to do. And Elliot Rogers um, definitely wanted to kill sorority girls. Okay, now. One of the things I'm seeing is this eyelid. My eyelids are brown. So we're gonna put a primer on first. And then we're gonna practice. I'm getting these hooded eye lids, um, which just really weigh down the look of your eyes and make you look old. Cause you know, in my case, I am old, so I'm 60. So we're going to put primer. This is a really nice one that I got as a gift. So thank you to Joe for the eyeshadow primer potion. Um, now, I need to do something about my eyebrows. And I've been using what I have lately which is just powder, eyeshadow. I need to bring this out. Okay, 
And then we're going to put another one on over on this side. Let's try to even the eyebrows out. Yeah, not too bad. Okay, so I'm going to kind of blend in the foundation in the direction of the hairs on my face. And then also with the eyebrow, I'm going to bring it down a little bit, put a little arch in there, even it out on both sides. Hopefully, they'll be kind of even. to give my face an even balance. There we go. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and fill in the eyes with of the light shadow in the background all the way up to eyebrows. I'm going to put some color in here now. I like this pink. And when you get older, you have to be very careful about how much makeup you wear and uh, making sure it's blended in properly. That's a given no matter what your age is. Mm. And then I'm going to go ahead and put a lip liner. Which really brings somebody's eyes up a bit. And so I need to take away from this. Uh, this has been a problem as I get older for me. I'm Irish, so I have this really red mark here. And it's just very hard for me to conceal it. And I need to start figuring out how to do that. Um, we'll take that and we're going to get some color on the lips. That's crazy dark. I'm going to do that. Oh, I used to like to wear a shade like that in the fall. It's spring here, so I don't want too dark. Come on. Where is the right color for me today? I think this will be fun. Take a look at this Burt's Bees lip color. Okay. That's good. Make sure we get have the lipstick on properly. Okay, so I'm gonna finish up the foundation. Trying to decide, I guess the thing to do would probably be to go ahead and cover up. And uh, in general, I'm trying to take it easy on my skin, not abuse it in any way. I just 
just make sure you've covered major flaws and you have some sense of it being blended in and having some conformity to the texture and the color. Let me sure you go back over the jawline and just blend. Get a little bit underneath. Okay. All right, so let's try a little blush. And I just apply it to the cheekbones. Now that I'm getting older, I think blush on my cheeks is probably a good idea every day because it kind of covers up some of the effects of aging on my cheeks. Cheeks are little, like this one's got gotten hollow in here. And I think the blush really takes away from that negativity and highlights cheekbones brings it up a little more. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just put on that setting powder. And there we go. Get any shine away from the forehead and the skin. If it was a new year, I would be sitting here saying my new year's resolution is to put on makeup every day. Um, gee, it's been a while since I put makeup on every day. As a matter of fact, it's been a very long time. It's embarrassing. But, um, if I'm going to do any podcasting, I think this is essential for people to res you know, respect. Yeah, earn people's respect. And you can't earn respect if the first impression they get of you is bad. So I'd really like to figure out how to get rid of this. Um, I could wear turtlenecks. I wonder how essential mascara is. Probably very. Let's see. Well, that's what we're here for, right? So we're gonna try this. I know this is major mascara. So I'll go ahead and put it on. We'll see how it works. But first things first. Now we're going to squeeze and hope that I get a little curve in what's left of my eyelashes. Here I go. Okay. Uh, I'm 
just checking my makeup in the camera. Um, apologize for that little intrusion. <laughs> okay, we're gonna put on mascara. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about eyeliner anymore, but I should at least try it on today and just see what happens. Now one day, I'm gonna get some of those beautiful false eyelashes and try them out. Go in the corner. Now, maybe I need a procedure where they can stretch the skin back. Or I need to do my shows and turtleneck. Well, thanks for watching this episode of Let's Talk with Laura. I hope you enjoyed your time here and come back and see me again.